In this episode, I want us to calculate the subtotal and also the total cut quantity. And that total cut quantity is whatever we'll show right here at our cut count. And uh, before we do that, I want us to also have different products in our cut. Uh, earlier in the course, we had taken a shortcut of including the same product for the details page. But we can easily change this. So we'll start by changing that so that we show the correct product whenever we click here. You need to go to your products folder, then to page. And this is where we are passing this product. And this product, we are getting it from utils. So actually what I'll do, I'll just remove that product now. And if we go to our utils, so utils here, and this product, we can actually uh, remove it completely. So I'll go ahead and delete. And what we will do is that we will make use of these products right here. This product, since we already have the ID of the product whenever we click it in our params. So right here, we will say const product will now be equal to and we get all our products. So it's a product. And now this will come from our util, the list of products. And we use the find array method. And here we will pass an arrow function. We will get an item at a time and we'll perform a check. We'll return the product whose item right here dot ID is equal to our params dot product ID. Then this product will be able to pass it here and here. So I save and that should get us our product. Let's see if it works. Uh, we click on this one, iPhone 14. Okay, it's still showing the old one. Let's refresh everything and it gives us this new product. Now let's test again. Let's click this keyboard. There we go. Now it's giving us the correct product for each, uh, which is really cool. And what this means is that we can now be able to add multiple products in our cart. So first of all, already in our cart, we have a product, I think. Uh, let's add another one. Let's add Regitech keyboard. Two of them, add, view cart. And look, now we have two products here. We can increase the quantity. We can decrease the quantity. And we can remove a product. Uh, so this is really nice, okay? So now all that remains is uh, when working on this product is to get them from our DB when we uh, actually get there, which will really be cool. So now we can now be able to calculate the subtotal. The subtotal is this amount added by this amount added by any other amount that will be there. And then the total cut quantity now is this quantity added to this quantity. Okay. So we will do that in our use cut. And we'll do that every time our page roads or whenever our cut products changes. So from the top, I'll come right here. After this use effect, I'll also do this in a use effect. So I'll say use effect. And I will invoke this. So this expects us to pass this function and a dependency array. So we also pass those brackets there and we pass our cut products as the dependency. So in here is where we'll do our magic. So we can start by defining a function. So I'll say const get uh, totals, which will be equal to an arrow function. And we make sure to call this function down here. So still inside the use effect, so we invoke it down there. We now do everything in this function. We will be using the reduce array method we will call our cut products and we'll say dot reduce and we invoke it this will accept two things an arrow function here and then it also accepts some defaults and the defaults here will be an object this object will have total and we'll set this total to zero and then it will also have QTY and we'll set QTY to zero. So this total will be our total amount and this QTY will be our total cut quantity. So this object that we pass here is our default and this default is called the accumulator. And for this function that we passed the first one here, 
usually accept uh, two parameters right here. Uh, that will be the accumulator. So we can say accumulator and also the current item that we are mapping through. So here, this object will now be our accumulator here. And then we have this item. The item is each item that uh, we are going through. So right here, the first thing that we will get is the uh, item total const uh, item total will be equal to so the item total it's uh, the item price times the quantity so it should give us this value here so that is what we are calculating here so item total will be the item dot price uh, we multiply by item dot quantity that way we get our item total and then down here uh, to get the uh, total cut quantity the total price we will take the accumulator total then we add to this item total so we'll say accumulator dot total uh, we add to this item total so we can do this using a shorthand we can say plus is equals item total so what this means is that accumulator total is equals to accumulator total plus item total okay and then we can calculate the total uh, cut quantity by taking the accumulator quantity qty and we add this to our item qty or quantity item dot quantity and then down here we will return accumulator accumulator now will have both total and quantity so we return accumulator like that okay and you see now this error disappears because it expected us to return something now i save and we can set an equal sign here and we get the accumulator from there so we'll say const we destructure the values of the accumulator and that is the total and the uh, qty so it's complaining okay before we perform all this to get rid of that error we should make sure that we have our cut product so right here we say if our cut products exist let's go ahead and do all this so i copy this up to this point then we take it to the top using alt and but top arrow and you'll see this disappears because now it's certain that our cut products exist okay now down here uh, what we will do is to update our state so right here uh, we already had set uh, cut total quantity and now we'll set this one to qty and right here we didn't have the state for cut total amount so we can create that state we can say const cut total amount and set cut total amount and we set this one to be equal to use state and to begin with the value will be zero so we take this set cut to amount and we use it right here i tab i paste and we'll set the total amount here to be our total this total is the one that we destructure from our accumulator right here so right now the only way to test this is to log these values to the console console uh, dot log uh, we will have qty and this will be our cut total quantity let's duplicate this i'll shift bottom arrow here let's say amount and this will be cut total amount and actually um we didn't say amount we said amount so i think it's good to spell this correctly amount amount uh, is there somewhere else we need to change no so we save this and we come to our app console okay let's refresh everything console okay this is crazy first of all is 10 mount zero oh this 10 is the default value that we had set earlier so let's remove that default here we had set a default of 10 so let's remove that and set it to zero i save and let's refresh again now to begin with all these are zero when our cart rolls and updates the total quantity for our cart is 
5 and then the total amount is 400 which makes sense so if we take three, this 300 and we add to 100 we get 400 so this 400 value is the one that we will show here but we'll format it using the format price and if i increase here we get now total here is 6 the amount changes from 400 here to 511 and 511 makes sense because it's this plus this so if we go back here and we add another product let's add 70 so we take this mouse and we add to cut view cut now we have a total of four six seven and we get total here and then the total amount here will be five one 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 plus seventy five eight one perfect so our shopping cart is working well all that remains now is to show the total here and also we will show the uh, quantity here so i'll see you in the next one for that